Hello guys, this is Awkward from Awkward Investing, and this is another YouTube video. This YouTube video is about Spotify, the music streaming service that we'll be doing analysis and evaluation on. Before that, let me give you a disclaimer. I do not own any shares in the company, and this is not financial advice, this is just for entertainment purposes. Alright, now let's get into it. First, let's talk about the history. Spotify was founded by Daniel Eck, the founder and CEO of Spotify Incorporated, founded the company in 2006 in Stockholm. Spotify is a digital music, podcast, and video streaming service that gives you access to millions of songs and content from artists all around the world. Their primary source of revenue is their subscription service, followed by their ads for listening side of the business. Spotify has transformed the way people access and enjoy music. Today, millions of people in 178 countries and territories have access to more than 70 million tracks whenever and wherever they want. On their website, they say, We are transforming the music industry by moving a transaction-based experience of buying and owning audio content to an access-based model allowing users to stream on demand. Now let's get into Spotify's main sources of revenue, starting with streaming. Spotify has 345 million monthly active users, which is huge because a massive monthly active user base means that they are more likely to switch from non-paying subscribers to paying subscribers. And it also means that they have customers that they still have to penetrate in their own pool. How oh, you said penetrate, what a fucking loser. Before looking elsewhere. Spotify is available in 178 markets and is looking to expand into many more in the coming years. Now into the main number when it comes to streaming. The number of paying monthly subscribers and that is 155 million the total revenue for subscriptions was 1.8 billion euros which is a 15 percent increase from year over year in q4 2020 now onto their second model of monetization which is ads the ads on spotify are known to be somewhat profitable and they are not really meant for anything out of way to force users switch over to paying ones this use of ads means that more people are likely to purchase premium to avoid the ads that they are served. As of 2020, the ads revenue reached 199 million euros, which is a 30% increase from year over year, which is a sizable chunk of money, but nowhere near the streaming service, meaning that they are more likely to try to use these ads to force users to switch from non-paying to paying. Finally, on to their total revenue. In 2020, they had a total revenue of $2.1 billion and a free cash flow of $74 million. It is a somewhat profitable company with profits growing year over year, which means that Spotify is poised for long-term growth in the future. Now on to a part of their business which is growing right now and seems like it will be monetized in the future. Podcasts. Podcasts is a fear in the Spotify business that is poised for future growth and is one of the most exciting parts of their business. With over 2.2 million podcasts on Spotify and over 25% of their total monthly active users interacting with them, that means that their audience is starting to get more exposed to these podcasts, meaning they'll stay in the app longer and be less willing to stop paying the subscription, which is good headwinds for Spotify. With listening hours doubling from 2019 to 2020, this means that more people are listening to podcasts than ever. This is what Spotify has to say about monetization for podcasts in their Q4 2020 shareholder letter. In an effort to grow audio monetization across the industry, we acquired Megaphone on December 8th. Megaphone is one of the world's most innovative platforms for an enterprise podcast hosting and monetization. With this acquisition, we have the ability over time to make technology available to third-party publishers on Spotify while growing our pool of tractable podcast inventory for advertisers. Basically, they're saying that podcasts will eventually be monetized using their current acquisition of Megaphone, which in my opinion is a really good acquisition they made on December 8th and will lead to a lot more profits in the future. And it seems that Spotify is focusing heavily on podcasts with an untapped market in the audio interface, and I feel that is something that will help them grow into the future. Now on to the total addressable market. With a total addressable market by 2027 of $70.6.7 billion in the streaming music market, there's a lot of money to go around. With 35% of the world market share, Spotify is poised to grab a lot more of that juicy revenue. Its competitors are leagues behind Spotify, with the next competitor having Apple Music having half as many paying subscribers as they have. This gap does not seem to be shrinking, and that is good news for Spotify in the long run. 
A disclaimer about Apple Music. Apple Music has one main advantage over Spotify, and that is the ability to pedal their Apple Music platform to all the iOS users across the world. Which means that unless Spotify can come out with content such as podcasts and exclusive albums and exclusive artists, they are not going to be able to stay ahead of Apple Music forever. I have a feeling that Spotify will double down on their investments into artists, podcasts, and etc. by probably starting their own record label or signing with other record labels to have exclusive artists only publish to Spotify and nowhere else. This is one of my theories for the future. Looking to the future for Spotify, the future is looking bright. With a total addressable market by 2027 looking to be worth $76.7 billion, with subscriber numbers growing and the total TAM growing, as well it seems that Spotify is here to stay. The only other place that I see Spotify venturing into is the music video side of the things by launching a while listening media video software that is embedded in Spotify. This seems very likely and should be coming soon. So this is another tailwind for Spotify. Overall, music is not going anywhere and neither is Spotify. Finally, on to the most important part for investors, which is the valuation. I would say that Spotify is fairly valued at a price of $275 and below. It seems it is at this price that it will be not going under anytime soon. If you can snag any shares in that area all the way to 280, you should be good for the long term. I'll be snagging some shares at that price as the time goes on, adding it to my position. All right, this is added after recording the original piece of the audio. Previously, the original piece was recorded first, and this is a little edit I want to add in here about the potential like risk factors when it comes to Spotify. There are a lot of music streaming services out there, so they may start snagging um, like the total subscriber number. In my opinion, it is very likely that Apple Music will tie Spotify in the next couple years because Apple starts promoting their music platform and starts signing exclusive artists. I see it very likely that Spotify will start having major competition from Apple Music, which isn't great, but it's something that Spotify should be able to weather the storm and fight back with their own, you know, acquisitions. So, with all that being said, if you like this video about Spotify and you want to see some more, hit the like button, subscribe, and the awkward investing channel. And as a final note, Stay awkward, stay investing, and have fun, and get out there and invest. Thanks, guys.